Sagittarius, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. I'm coming to you guys from the amazing city of Aswan, Egypt. I'm out here because I'm going to be going to the Temple of Isis. I'm going to be um, I'm going to be doing some work there, guys. I'm, I'm planning on doing some intuitive work there. I'm planning on doing a little ritual and tapping into the, the lunar goddess energy. I went to the Pyramids of Giza last Sunday, sometime around the, the supermoon. And I did a rich, an invocation of raw, and guys, I had a very profound experience. The synchronicities that I've been experiencing this whole time that I've been in Egypt have been phenomenal. And I'm creating some content and sharing my personal experience of being here. Nevertheless, this is going to be a reading for the singles, all right? Single Sagittarians, what's going on with you guys? I want to tap into what you guys are dealing with here near the end of November. All right, what's going on here? How are you guys ending the month? And you guys are approaching your birthday season. Let's get two more shuffles. What are the overall energies here that the Sagittarians are dealing with? All right, let's chime in. We got the Ace of Wands. We got the Ace of Coins. We got the Four of Wands and the, and the Page of Swords. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me put this phone on silent because it always happens that I start this and then, boom, I start getting blown up. Nevertheless, here, what am I seeing, Sag? It seems as if there's a new beginning here that is coming your way when it comes to a relationship and it seems that it's going to move toward <clears throat> towards success towards an element of stability clarifying the ace of cups we got the ace of i mean clarifying the ace of coins we got the ace of cups this is a brand new beginning ladies and gents that's what i'm seeing here a brand new beginning is what's ensuing for sagittarius it could be a, a uh air sign that you're dealing with aquarius gemini libra all right queen of swords here what is this individual communicating what is it that they're bringing forth here Ooh, someone is coming out of abandonment that's what I'm saying here. It could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, someone here is coming out of abandonment. And that is exactly what I am seeing. Whoops. By the way, I'm outside, obviously, if you, as you guys can see. And they, they do these calls to prayer. So if it gets loud, I'm going to have to just go inside or something. But anyway, let's go with the flow. You got someone here that is encompassed by abandonment. And they're coming forward here, Sagittarius, all right, with a brand new beginnings here. They want to communicate with you. They're driven by their emotions here. And they're basically applying those emotions into a practical movement, which is coming forth and actually initiating some sort of action towards you. This could be you or the person you're dealing with. What's going on here with the uh, Four of Wands? You see, the Four of Wands is often the marriage card. It talks about stability. With the Magician clarifying that, this is insinuating that somebody here is using their willpower in order to really create this relationship make a some sort of stable some sort of stable stability is really what i see here this is a relationship that has a sense of history this could even be a marriage ladies and gents all right <clears throat> let's see what's with the seven of swords there could have been manipulation or deception here but someone here is wanting to i mean someone sees the other person's value it depends where you are in the in the story i'm going to get individual energies here in a moment but what i'm seeing here sagittarius is that somebody here sees their significant other's value and they're quite adamant about moving this relationship and solidifying it i mean someone sees they either see you as an empress or you see them as an empress and they want to lock that empress down is what i'm seeing here all right look at that the three of cups this is all about celebratory energy so you guys could be exp experiencing a sense of i mean i'm getting a real good energy here from your reading guys which i'm quite happy about all right congratulations so i feel that you know this is a singles reading this is telling me that you guys are going to get into a relationship flat out there's joy there's alcohol there's celebration there's there's joy is really what i'm seeing here what's with the page of swords the tower okay this is interesting what's with the tower what's, why is the tower here <clears throat> we got to the hermit so someone is in isolation all right the, the individual all right <laughs> you got someone here that is very adamant about you know moving towards and advancing this relationship while another individual seems to be isolated they seem to be withdrawn heavily contemplative about the situation they're iffy about it two of swords they're in two minds they're in two minds about the situation where are you in the spectrum let's see let's see what's going on with you sagittarius what is sagittarius's energy towards the person that they are dealing with <clears throat> The weather out here is quite nice. It's a little warm, to be honest, but there's a subtle air, a little wind. What Sagittarius is energy towards a person? <clears throat> so we got the Queen of Swords, we got the World card, and we got the Four of Wands. I mean, the Four of Swords. So, Sag, what I am seeing here is that you are a bit dubious about the situation. I feel that you could be a bit defensive. Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
the temperance. You're being patient with the situation. I don't think that you're healed. You haven't closed out a cycle here. I don't know what happened between you and this individual, but you haven't closed out a cycle. You're in this two of swords energy, two of wands energy, where you're just contemplative. You're going back and forth with yourself, and you're just uncertain about this situation and what and how to act towards it. Why is the world card here? We got the <clears throat> we got the four of wands, or rather the four of coins. This is you being you got your heart space closed off, flat out Sagittarius. Your heart space is closed off, and I don't see ooh the devil energy. You're holding on to something here, ladies and gents. You're holding on to something that you're having a hard time letting go flat out, and it's definitely hindering you from growing and expanding in this relationship. At the end of the day, you may not want to even give into this relationship. So who, who gives a fuck, right? It's like if you don't if you don't want this, your energy is valid is valid you're dealing with something you're still healing something that this individual puts you through if you're not too receptive towards this opportunity that's coming your way it's valid fine you know what i mean something happened here that has shifted your energy towards this individual <clears throat> what's with the four swords the queen of pentacles yeah so you're you're in this state of respite you're taking a break you're collecting yourself i feel that like you're distant from this individual and you're simply just focusing on your stability and this is definitely progressing you all right you could be doing spiritual work, meditation, you know, doing yoga or just connecting with your, your with your higher self is really what I'm saying here in this in this state of respite. And um, interestingly, I'm going to tell you what I'm saying here with the king of coins and the queen of coins it could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. But what I'm also getting the sense of is that as you're growing, as you are connecting with your inner self. This is bringing you closer to your individual. It's kind of like you're manifesting your divine counterpart. I don't know if your divine counterpart is this person that we're about to tune into, or you're just simply, which I do get the sense it is, but we'll see. But I'm telling you, it's like the more you recluse and work on yourself, the closer you're going to get to your person. I know it sounds paradoxical, but that's the energy that I'm picking up. <clears throat> Maybe you got to get over some shit. Maybe you're still, you're still holding on to some sort of negative history, and once you get over it, you'll be back in that individual's arms what is this individual's energy towards sads all right <clears throat> so we got the queen of cups we got the death energy we got the well fuck this individual is definitely trying to turn the situation around all right clearly there's been a lot of loss there's been i mean this individual is in a state of grievance flat out they got a lot of feelings for you all right queen of cups could be a water sign but this individual wants to close this chapter out here with the world card being here they want to close this energy out. <clears throat> the Empress, wow, they, they definitely want to grow something with you here. They want to nurture the situation. All right, let's clarify the devil. I mean, what? Let's clarify the, the death energy. <clears throat> What's with the death energy? Six of coins. So this individual is trying to cultivate the foundation or the opportunity to have reciprocity with you. Have reciprocity, have a sense of a balance. Flat out is what I'm saying here. <clears throat> The strength card. Okay, this individual is biting the bullet. They're doing the necessary to to essentially um, have success with you. All right, why is the nine of coins here? This individual has worked on themselves, I feel. I've, and if not a lot of time has passed, they've done some serious, or at least they've attempted to move towards some sort of inner growth or independent growth on their own. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> Hold up. One sec. All right, let's see. This this situation definitely got to this individual, and I feel like it's compelled them towards their own growth. It's kind of like I see what you're doing is what they have been doing, or what they're they're currently doing. All right, so not only are they wanting to come forward and bring a transformation in this relationship, this person here has gone through their own inner transformation. What's going on here with the Five of Cups? What's going on here with the Five of Cups? The Ace of Swords. Yeah, you see, the Five of Cups is that individual that's looking at a situation as if it's come to a loss. There's been three cups that have just been, been spilled, right? Sure, this individual grieved for a bit and they were in a negative state, but those two cups are still standing. With the Ace of Swords, this is what's what the, this uh, energy is insinuating is that they're still seeing potential in this. They still see it and they want to take it. They want to take the potential. Yeah, look, this Four of Cups came out reversed. This Four of Cups is typically, you know, looking at a situation and essentially giving into the negativity, being pessimistic, giving into the negativity, thus it resulting in a lost opportunity. It's not, this isn't, This came out reversed, which is telling me that they see that, that cup, they see that opportunity. All right, ladies and gents, let's see. I'm gonna get some, 
I'm going to get some insight for you guys. I'm going to get some any insight here that wants to come forward for Sagittarius. <clears throat> and then I'm going to be taking this to the extent where I'm going to deconstruct your individual. All right? I'm going to dissect this person here. I'm going to look into their mind. I want to see what sort of energy surrounds their thoughts when it comes to you. I want to look into this individual's feelings at this time towards you. I want to look into this individual's actions towards you during this time. All right, from now to the end of the month and uh, in the near future to see where this is going. But let me get some insight here. Let me get some insight for Sagittarius. <clears throat> All right. So we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Lovers <laughs> and the Chariot. All right, guys, this is interesting. Look, I feel that, that you want to be with your individual. All right? You definitely want to. Uh, you're inclined, absolutely. The Lovers is here. This is an energy that, that is mutual. And what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, is that you essentially, look, the answer to you coming together with this individual, if you want to have a successful relationship with this person, it's really about finding that sense of contentment with yourself. So if you could take space for yourself, if you could take time for yourself, focus on yourself. Just like I said, some of you are focusing on spirituality, on, on tapping into your higher self or connecting with your deeper self. By doing such things, ladies and gents, you're going to cultivate this, this motion or this momentum of being able to open yourself up to love. Maybe you have a hard time letting go of something this person did, or maybe you have a hard time forgiving something. And, you know, by you tapping into this unconditional love for yourself, I feel that you're going to be able to surmount whatever challenge you're dealing with, whatever sort of devil energy you're attached to. Therefore, you're going to end up moving closer to this individual. So this message is for those that actually want to reconcile with their person, that want to work through the problem, which was the general reading. Like I mentioned early, early on in this reading, it's like I see a relationship happening here. So, guys, the answer to whatever challenge you're dealing with is essentially pouring all that love, all that attention, all that time and energy onto yourself. That's what's going to bring you together in love with this individual. Some of you guys need to work on self-love. Come to think about it. Anyways, Sagittarius, I hope you take something of value from this. I'm taking this to the extended, ladies and gents. I'm going to continue to expand on this reading. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.